Darius here. Uh, he puts out videos. Is that uh, How an do you effort? know Darius? I know Darius. <laughs> I, wa I, watch, I watch his videos. I watch. Okay. Recent people CEO. Yes, sir. Darius Sanders in the building. Recent people media. This is Darius Sanders. Shout out. Reach the people. Tap in, bro. I got you. Okay. Yeah. Don't talk to I got you. Okay. <laughs> the man never tries to be the man. Come on, bro. I got word from Sam Malone that the tickets are crazy right now. What do you think, bro? People are just lined up up here, bro. This wow. It's, it's on the other side. See, bro, right here. You don't see how it looks on the inside. Honestly, it's a lot more like chill than I expected. Then like turned up how I thought. Sheesh. Look, Coach Prime tickets going like crazy. Y'all better come get that. Have your ID. People are crying. Right, guys, are y'all still waiting? Crazy, isn't it? I know. Okay. What you think, bro? What you think about the turnout? Hey, you know what? It's funny, man. This is uh, it's pretty awesome to see this because uh, last year there was nothing like this. So now you got the whole students just walking hey, through. Man, you feel me? You know it's what we do. You nah, know what I'm saying? Is. Hey, you win, people come out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You build effect. it. What they say? You, you build, build it, it they come. Yeah, yeah. That's what we do, man. Right, 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 right. I'm not taking the field today. I'm gonna hold it till Saturday. David Pearson, we got it. Yes, sir. In Connecticut now. Came out for this game. Been following the bus since the early 80s, went to the Orange Bowl. Pumped to be here with Darius and Uncle Mealy and the gang. How'd you feel about our first two wins, seeing it? I feel pretty blankety blankety blank damn good. <laughs> I'm ready. Were well, you going to be at this game? Yeah, oh yeah. Me and a friend will be wearing our proper black and gold gear. Yes, sir. It's going to be a blast. I'm not going to make a prediction because I don't want to make it. I got to respect the opponent. But I'm ready for an explosion. Thank you, bro. Thank I appreciate you. the support. All right, Darius. Yes, sir. Bro, so we just reading some comments. They talking about was that ghost in the locker room. How I feel just seeing T.O. casually, you know, ghost casually, Shannon, Stephen A., and more going to come this week. It's crazy because, like, you're regular people, but it's these celebrities, though. So it's yeah. Like, come, come to us talking to us like regular people. We would never thought we would get a chance to meet people like that. Mm -hmm. Talk to them just as a regular person. So it's, it's, it's exciting to know that they come and see us and see what we're all about and stuff like that. But at the same time, they're regular to us. But on the outside looking in, it's different. Yeah, they they say T.O., he, he still want to play, bro. Uh, he still yeah. is. He still get out there. <laughs> he still, got, he got, still got that, you know what I'm saying? He still got that juice. He still got that juice. Yo, look at this hoodie, bro. This is the one I've been having on. This it has buffs bad. on the side with CU in the front and with like the you know what i'm saying the classic little it's like letterman type yeah it's letterman like a, le type a letterman type, type vibe yeah, bro this, I, this, this I saw the fire piece of merch. expectations at the onset of the season there weren't many expectations from the outside there were a tremendous amount of expectations from us because we know what we have on the inside we always believe like the shirt say we believe not all of us <laughs> but just enough believe that we could carry on our expectation. Now, I'm sitting up here thinking, and I've been playing with this word in my mind, thinking what does this word mean to the multitudes? Expectation. Does it mean the expectation that you have of yourself, or does it mean the expectation of, that people have of you? Wow. So when I say, what's your expectation, <clears throat> which one is it? What's the first thing you think of? Is it the expectation that you have of yourself or the expectation others have of you? <laughs> I don't want you to get caught up in the expectation that others have of you because that really don't matter. Because you're gonna be judged no matter what, regardless of what you do, what you accomplish, what you don't accomplish. But what matters is how you see you, what you expect from you. Coach, you got, I asked you to, to share that thought process that you just told me about. You know, guys, Coach blessed me this morning when he was coming in. He said, Coach, 
what's the first thing you think about when you hear the word expectation? And the, real, and the reality is, guys, all of us have expectations. Players, coaches, staff. <coughs> the reason why most people don't reach or exceed their expectations is because they don't truly believe what they say they expect. Mm. 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 And the reason why they don't believe it is because their preparation hadn't been what it needed to be. It all comes with how much do you actually believe? Coach Prime, and I tell you, and I'm not here to <coughs> praise him or that to pat him on the back of that, he doesn't need that. But I didn't been in coaching forever. And in these six or seven months I didn't been around here, I've learned so much from him in regards to belief. So when we go out there today, and each day thereafter, like I see, and I don't mean to just point people out because there's so many of you, a Shane Coates or a Shadur up in the office every day preparing outside of what they do on the football field, that leads to that belief. That leads to that outcome on test day. That's what we all need to get to. Expectations start with belief. Belief comes from preparation. Let's have us a great one today, man. You said this tattoo is a tribute to your tribute family's to the last name? Tribute family, yeah. A little Irish background. Okay. Uh, same kind with this, this is just more design work. Yeah. This took a while, it just comes down in my chest. Uh, this one's the Philippians 4-7. And then I got the rest tatted down my back. So are you going to finish this? Yeah, I'll finish this sleeve. What did your dad say when he saw the first one? Um, he liked it. He liked that I got it done well, but he wasn't very, he didn't want me to. He didn't want no, you to? No, no. But now it's kind of like you know, too far past the point. It's so too far He doesn't down. want me going crazy with him. So no, I'm, you I'm have gonna to finish, finish it. I'm, I'm going to finish this one. But probably nothing else. They say once you finish one arm, you're gonna be like, dang. I, I want the other, the other one. one. Yeah, I'm probably. Gonna I have no it. tattoos yet, bro. So I, know. I know if I get one, it's gonna be like. It, it, it's spiral. As soon as I got one, the rest of them like, just started. I need it. I need it. I need going. it. Yeah. yeah. Let's practice with the understanding that we're trying to be better. I don't want to see you just try to make it through practice. I want you to try to be dominant within practice. Don't just meander through practice trying to make it through. Let's go hard. Defensive line, let's get to the ball. Offensive line, let's make our block to get downfield. You guys are the catalysts. The O-lines and the D-lines are the catalysts through practice. DBs, we're going to get to the ball. Receivers, we're going to do what we do. Backs and linebackers, let's handle our business. Quarterbacks, let's make it happen. Specialists, let's be special. You got that? Yes, sir. Let's not practice just to make it through. Let's practice with purpose today. Break it down on JB. Y'all heard it, man. Hard work on two, hard work on two, one, two, three. Hard work. Fast, 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 fast. What size those are, bro? Hey, man, they my size. They look like my size, bro. When you're transit, that's it. Splatter. The van man. He missed it. He was wearing the vans the other day. Why did you get the clip? I, I got a clip. Me, I got a clip. I'll send it to All right, you. Man. Insert it. Vans. Uh, we're in, still waiting. Insert the prime clip wearing the vans right. Right now. Yeah, this is just a Sam cameo, y'all. I know y'all been asking for me. I know you guys want me. I'm just busy working, all right? Yeah. But can't give the people what they want all the time. No, nah, you definitely can't. We got some surprises for y'all coming soon, which it'll make sense when it comes out. Hey, ball! 
Ain't no fucking way, man. Hey, he made a catch. But it's three people. I love him, though. It's all love, bro. I really love that. It's all love. Just show you grit. You feel me? Boom. Travis Hunter just caught that ball on three of them. Like hey Juju! Oh my goodness! Juju got an actual jersey now. Oh my goodness! He had the uh, triple. He had the triple XL jersey on. He had the triple XL jersey on for uh, three weeks. They have grip. We gonna go. You know, going to the NFL. He wear these big. Boys. That's the NFL gloves? He said these are the NFL gloves. Those are work gloves. That just throw me off. If I seen you, I'd be like, God. Why y'all say these are the NFL gloves, though? I would wrongly judge you with them, hoes. I ain't going lie. What you think I'd be trashing with you? Yeah, but then I see you every day, and it's just like, what? Hey, rate the drip 1 through 10, then. Hey, rate the drip 1 through 10. Three. These two gonna go in there. Respectfully in a three, because you get on the field. It was like, until he starts playing, then his drip starts going up. He'd be like, are you valid? But if you don't see him play, you'd be like, Hey, the drip on ten. What made you choose those? They gave them to me. They put sugar, a little sugar in that one. I bet too good. You don't be on the video games, bro. I don't know how to play games. He tried to teach me. No, remember the game you tried to teach me? I suck so bad. No, what game? The game where you like jump over stuff. This, your girl was actually really good at the game. Oh, you talking about Fall Guys? Yes, bro. Oh, but he actually put me on some stuff that I actually liked. Yes, I mean, it was cool. Oh, look who it is. The Shadur. The Shadur. Why, why you never did that to me? I be disrespecting you all the time. Oh, damn, you gonna let him try you like that? Yeah. Now, if I knock your camera out your hand, then what? That'll be good for the video. Never gonna. <laughs> it's gonna be. <laughs> That's gonna be a thumbnail. Nah. It'll be good. This dude got in the fight at the Shadur. This Shadur. Shadur. <laughs> Shadur Sanders. You know, Colorado had a game this weekend. <laughs> Why didn't you send me the PT, bro? The PT what? Perfect timing. My files got deleted. Somebody sent it to you. No, you didn't. My files got deleted. Dang, bro. Ah, right, bro. Come on, I'm a fan, bro. Put me on there. Yeah, watch out. Let me help you. Nah, for real. Can I go on your show? Can you pay me? I just need 5K. K. It's crazy. I need 5K. I ain't even getting paid. Y'all can shut up. Then you can hear him. One, two, three. Shut up. Hey, dog. If y'all could be quiet, y'all could hear the man talk. Shut up. Even shut up. Yeah, get off the beat. I said, is everybody ready to go? Hell yeah. Ready for CSU? Hell yeah. Ready for rivalry? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Family on three. Family on me. One, two, three. Hell yeah. I like it, Luke. That was a great. Over there on the uh, cart. Darcina, my stuff on the cart. Don't leave without it, please. Thank you, thank you. Hey, you don't want to interview him. He's got nothing fun to talk about. Your name is Zim. Your name is Zim. Hey, everybody. 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 All right, well, let's take it serious. <laughs> how, how did the last week feel after you, know, you guys didn't get any tackles in the backfield against TCU? You guys had a bunch last week. How did you get that feel for you guys? Oh, uh, it felt pretty good. That was really a point of emphasis. We were like consistent on throughout the week. Like, hey, we didn't get as much production as we wanted to, especially out front. We didn't show that we could be a dominant front, a dominant force up front. So that was our main emphasis of last week, was just being more physical, playing on their side of the ball, playing on their side of the football. And, uh, it just worked out when we, you know, just put more emphasis on it, practice that every day. That was our goal. That was our mission going into the game, and it worked out in our favor. Jordan, obviously you played in some big-time environments before you transferred here. How did last Saturday close with you? Well, that's a good question. It was definitely a big 
<laughs> it was a whole different vibe. Like when I tell you, I've never been in an environment like that. I've been in some big time games for sure. I've seen some big crowds, but like coming out here to Folsom and just seeing not just the turnaround from last year to this year, but just the drive of all the fans wanting to come out there, just all the people that wanted to be on the sideline. I've never seen anything like it. There were so many legends just on the sideline, some people in the stands. It was just insane. I've never been around an environment quite like this, and I'm pretty sure it's just going to keep getting better. Do you feel like last week's game could be a turning point for you guys as a defense? Obviously, in week one, you guys are still pretty getting used to playing with each other with most of the defensive guys coming in in the summer. Do yeah. so you feel like you guys are now kind of gelling and you know, in sync on defense? I feel like, yeah, we definitely are coming together as a defense. And now that we've set that standard for ourselves of, hey, we can show that we're a dominant force, we a force that we can play, we can play up to our potential, and we see what we can do at our best. Well, not even at our best, but just playing in unison. You know, so I feel like this was definitely a turning point of showing ourselves, hey, this is what we can do. This is what we're going to be able to do. And this is what we need to strive for week after week after week. So definitely, I would say that's a turning point, And it's just going to, you know, put more emphasis on it. Like he had said, we got to put more emphasis on it throughout each week to week to make sure, hey, we're still playing on their side of the line. Hey, we're still playing on their side of the ball. We're still showing that tenacity, that physicality for our defensive line in front. So yeah, I would say it's a little, I would say it's a turning point for us. We have some of the guys this last week, but how have you gone about maybe learning about these big rivalry games here at Colorado, Nebraska last week, CSU this week, these games that mean so much to the fans and, and the football alums? Uh, definitely, uh, it's crazy because where I live at, there are a bunch of football Colorado alums and they've been basically giving me the uh, go breakdown of everything. So I have some neighbors that would tell me, hey, this is the Nebraska game. This is the breakdown. This is what happened so many years ago. This is why the rivalry. And now I'm still learning a little bit about this Colorado State rivalry as well. And I have a few people that know about it, such as uh, a man by the name of Nick Ferguson, if any of you all know him. He's been helping me a lot. He talks to me a lot. Uh, Jeff Hauser, he was telling me a little bit more about the Colorado uh, just the rivalry and everything and then just the vibe around here is just every as we said last week we were taking it personal last week we we're taking it personal this week just because of all the rivalries and everything so you could tell by the air around here and the way people are lining up for tickets trying to get in uh definitely this is a rivalry game it's gonna be a big game and i feel like you know i'm just learning more and more as i go so by friday if you ask me the same question i bet you i can tell you a breakdown of the entire colorado state colorado history <laughs> Is it harder to prepare for back-to-back -back rivalry games than it would be to other games, or is it all the same? I feel like for us, we just prepare the same, whether it's a rivalry game, whether it's a regular game, whether it's, well, all of them are not regular games. It's basically our championship from week to week. You know, we always trying to go on and up. So the pre preparation never changes. We always prepare the same way, whether it's going in for extra film, focusing on what we need to focus on throughout the week, you know. Uh, the preparation is always going to stay the same. So even though it is a rivalry game, we are taking it into our mind, hey, this is a rivalry game. We know the, the history and the significance behind it, but we also know it's also just another game. We need to go out here, prepare the same way we need to, mentally prepare the same way we need to, and treat it like any other game. However, we know in the back of the mind, back of our minds how significant it is. Jordan, you, you, you guys have... You've worked in a handful of defenses in your college career. How do you feel like this one's different from ones you've worked in prior? So with this one, I feel like I have more freedom as, you know, my position, not just in rushing the passer and, you know, dropping, but I also believe that Coach Kelly puts us all in prime position to make plays. As long as we do our job and play the assignments that we want, the plays are definitely going to come to us. Uh, a lot of our defenses are a lot like that, but I feel like ours is much more complex in the way that our defensive coordinator thinks outside the box of different defensive coordinators. He knows things that a lot of coaches don't know. And we have such a great coaching staff here with so much years of experience and expertise. It's like they can look at a play, see how it works out in practice, and just, you know, we're going to adjust this, change the play, and then we run it on Saturday and automatically it works, you know. So that's just the way that I see it. I feel like this defense that I'm in, it really not just puts me in prime position to make plays, but also puts me in a position to show my versatility as well, whether it be dropping, whether it be rushing the passer, whether it be anything this defense needs. I feel like it shows not just people's talent and abilities, but also their versatility, not just me, but everybody on the team. Thank you, Jordan. Yes, sir. Appreciate y'all.